In this video we're going to look at currency and we're going to look at typical exam questions that are based around converting between currencies. So here we've got an exchange rate. You might see something like this in the post office. And if we wanted to change our money from uh, UK pounds into American dollars, this exchange rate would say that for every one pound you give them at the post office, for instance, you would get $1.50 back. Okay. So for instance, if you give them one pound, you get $1.50 back. If you give them two pound, you get three dollars back because you get another one dollar fifty and so on. Okay, so that's how an exchange rate works: is that you would give them a certain amount of money and you get money back. So here we've got one pound was obviously one dollar fifty. Two pound would be three dollars. Another pound would well, be another one dollar fifty. So it would be four dollars fifty for three pounds. For four pounds, well, the four pounds would be another one dollar fifty. So that'd be six dollars and so on. Now, whenever you want to change money for like larger amounts of pounds into dollars, you wouldn't want to just keep on carrying on this list. We want a quicker way to do that. So let's look and see how you would do that now. So, obviously we could just carry on this list, but if I wanted to change £10 into dollars, well, rather than writing out this all the way down to, you know, to £10, what I would know is that I'd have 10 lots of $1.50, because for every pound you get $1.50. So I'm gonna times 10 by $1.50, or by 1 1.5. So if you times the pounds by this number here, what you would get for one pound, then that would tell you how many dollars you'd get. So we're gonna do 10 times by 1.5, I don't need to put the zero on. So 10 times 1.5, well, that's gonna be 15. So I get $15. Likewise, if I wanted to change 200 pounds into dollars, well, because I wanna change into dollars, so I'm gonna times by this number. So I'm gonna do 200 times by $1.50, so, or 1.5, so 200 times by 1.5 would give me $300. And if we wanted to go backwards, well, I could carry on this list of $1.50s, or if you want to go backwards from dollars into pounds, you would just divide by 1.5. So I'm going to do 45 divided by 1.5, and then that would tell me that's equal to 30 pounds. Okay, so if you want to change into the money, into the into dollars, you would times by the 1.5, and if you want to convert back into pounds, you would divide by 1.5. Okay, let's look at some other questions now. So... Here's a typical question. Sophie went to Spain. She changed £240 into euros. The exchange rate was £1 equals 1 1.4 euros. Now, it's going to be quite important, this number here, 1.4. It says change £240 into euros. So, again, you could write a list down, £1, £2, £3, all the way to £240 and count up how many uh, one euros 40 cents you get. Or a quick way is to just times the £240 the 240 pound by the number in the exchange rate, the 1.4, and that will convert it into euros. So 240 times by 1.4 gives us 336 euros. And that's how much you would get if she changed 240 pounds into euros. On her return to England, Sophie changed 65 euros into pounds. So she's gone backwards now, back into pounds. The new exchange rate was one pound equals one euro 30. So that's going to be quite important again, that 1.3, uh, that 1 euro 30. And what that's saying is that if we want to convert back from euros into pounds, we're going to want to divide the 65 euros by the 1.3. So you're going to do 65 divided by 1.3, and that will tell me how many pounds it would be. That would be exactly 50 pounds. And you could check that. You could times the £50 by 1.3 and get €65. Euros. Now this one's a bit more complicated. Thomas goes on holiday to Japan. He wants to change some money into yen. The bank only stocks 1,000 yen notes. Thomas wants to change up to, four, or change up to £400 into yen. So he's got up to £400 that he's going to change into yen. He wants to get as many 1,000 uh, yen notes as possible. The exchange rate is £1 equals 168 yen. How many 1,000 uh yen notes will he get so what we I would do is recommend to see is how many if we have our 400 pound is to change that into yen and see in theory you know how much uh, 400 pound is worth in yen so because the exchange rate is one pound is 168 yen we're going to times that by 168 okay because obviously if we want to change from pounds into yen we want to multiply by this number so we're going to do 400 times by 168 and that gives us 67,200 yen. I've drawn the yen symbol before. Okay, so 67,200 yen. Okay, so that's the maximum amount he can get. Now, unfortunately, in this uh, 
uh, bank where he's uh, buying his uh, Japanese currency, they only have 1,000 yen notes, okay? So what it means is that he couldn't actually get 67,200, but he could get 67,000 because he could get 67 notes, okay? So it says how many, uh, so he the maximum he could get it would be 67,000. So obviously the maximum amount of money he could get from this bank would be 67,000 yen, okay? Because obviously they only stock uh, 1,000 yen notes. So that means that he would get 67 of those notes and 67 of those notes would be 67,000. And that's it. So to recap, um, if you had an exchange rate, for instance, one pound equals $1.50, to convert into dollars, you'd multiply by 1.5, and to convert back into pounds, you'd divide by 1.5. If you had an exchange rate, such as one pound equals one uh, euro 40, to change into euros, you'd multiply by 1.4, and to change back into pounds, you'd divide by 1.4. And that's it.